So for number one, first we do is we distribute and then we add number two. We add to get this. Number three, we distribute and then we get that. Number four, we add in the parentheses and subtract in the parentheses and then add in total like that. Number five, what we do is that we take out the parentheses first, then we add. Number six, what we do is that we add all the like common terms. Next page, we add all of them to get that. We add and then multiply to get that. We add three times, three times, add to get that. Then we add here and we get this. We add here to get that. We add here to get that. We add here to get that. Mm -hmm. Suki wants to try the Pomodoro study method where she studies 25 minutes, one Pomodoro cooking, and five minutes on a break and repeats the process until she is done cooking. If she cycles through four Pomodoros, the first starting at 2.50 p.m., what exact time will Suki finish the last break? So she makes four. So four times 25 is 100. Mm -hmm. And five times four is 20. So in total, it's 120 minutes, which if you divide by 60, you would get, um, you would get, if you divide by 60, you would get two, which would mean that it would be two plus 250, so that she would finish at 450. Lorelai has a certain workout plan she is instructed to follow for health reasons. She can only run the treadmill during the hours of 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. In one month, 30 days, she is required to follow this regimen. How many total days and hours is she allowed to run on the treadmill? So 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. is about 11 hours. So 11 hours times 30 would equal to 330 and if you if you divide that then what you would get is c 13 days and 18 hours three luke can do a total of 14 curl-ups when he was eight years old and a total of 15 when he was nine if this pattern has continued, what is the equation that relates T, the total of curl ups Ashton can do, and A, the corresponding age? So he can do 14 when he's 8 and 15 when he's 9. So let's try putting both of these in. So, first one, we put 8 in. He doesn't do 22 when he's 8 years old, so it can't be that. And then the next one, 8. He can't do 48 when he's 8. Next one works. What about the next one? Next one doesn't work. C is the only one that works. So in conclusion, it is T equals 6 plus A. The automated door by the convenience store opens for 15 seconds after the sensor is activated by motion. The sensor is not exact, so it triggers the door to open two seconds after it's activated. So negative two. The door takes four seconds to open and four to close. So that would be eight seconds in total where the sensor does not work during these two times. A bear on the loose runs through the door at the 12 second mark. The animal rescue is running after the bear is over three seconds behind. How many seconds from the 12 second mark will it be till the animal man can safely pass through the door? So first, what we do is that 
So it's gonna take two minutes for this to activate. So he's so first it's gonna twelve take twelve seconds to go. It's not gonna activate, so that's gonna be like a fourteen. And then it's gonna open, so that's gonna be like and then close, which is gonna be another like six. And then he's behind. So that'd be a few other stuff. So in conclusion, it'd be It would be D. Thirteen seconds.